It is the 27th of May 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rethina Sidi. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. The start of the bulletin from Iganga, where Kenyan pilgrims were involved in an accident Sunday morning that claimed lives of four, leaving about 10 nursing injuries at Iganga General Hospital. A taxi said to be heading from Kampala to Iganga lost control and rammed into the pilgrims at around 5 30 a.m according to one of the pilgrims george worry he said that as they approached wayina village in mayuga district they cited a speeding taxi registration number ubd 860w coming from the opposite direction and tried to raise a red flag alerting the driver that they were moving alongside the road but he simply ignored the officer in charge uh, magamaga police station Beatrice Apini she attributed the accident to overspeeding recklessness on the side of the taxi driver. She said police is hunting for the driver of the taxi who fled away after the accident to answer charges of murder through reckless driving. Moving on to Busia district, the Uganda National Roads Authority has halted the demolition of structures on custom and ginger roads in Busia town after it failed to produce compensation lists which the landlords want them to avail. However, John Bosco Sejemba, the UNRWA officer in charge of enforcement, say the roads body will soon clear road reserves and not compensate anyone with an illegal structure. Dixon Wawire, a landlord, said Unra to remove road marks planted three years ago in Busia town, saying they were planted before landowners were sensitized and compensated. Godfrey Maloba, another landlord, wa wondered why Unra does not respect titles issued by the land's ministry during such exercises. I am Marithina Sejay, you're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let's take a break and look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. For those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Inasaitas. Continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Move on to Dohori District. Now, Dohori District has 17 healthy centers, but only two of them have functional lighting systems. The district chairperson, Frederick Dixon Odong, said only a Balang and Kachungo healthy center tools have functional lighting systems. He said medical officers use torches and phones to deliver services at night in most of the healthy facilities. Among the healthy centers affected are Dohoro Healthy Center 4, Aguata Healthy Center 3, Quera Healthy Center 3, Kangai Healthy Center 3, Awili Healthy Center 2, and Bata Healthy Center 4. The district healthy educator, Iguin Odong, during the advocates meeting recently said some of the patients in the maternity, pediatric, male and female wards use, use tadovers, which are Latinins at night, which he said was very dangerous. Closing off the bulletin is a story from Kagadi district where a 32-year-old mother, a resident of Kagadi Central in Kagadi Town Council, needs 60 million shillings for a heart surgery of her three-month child. Stella Arinaito says the doctors from the Uganda Heart Institute referred her to India for an open heart surgery over a cyanotic heart defect. The cost is 60 million shillings, according to our narrator, and it can only cater for the medical bills. Her husband, Mal Tisembo, is a farmer who she says cannot manage the medical and travel expenses. Our narrator has appealed to the government, well wishes, and non government organizations to render her support in raising medical bills and travel expenses to India to enable her son regain 
his normal health. That is it we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Y. Instagram is at New Vision Y. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth, the voice. Thank you for watching. <music>